Welcome back to Teach Me How to Glean. Today I am going to try to clean this sheet tray of sorts. We use this on our grill so it gets beaten to heck. I want to try to get this looking brand new before grilling season really hits because we use it and abuse it. So all I'm going to, all you're going to need for this is some vinegar, some baking soda, and then we're going to soak it in really hot water for 30 minutes to an hour. Just because mine is looking so bad, I'm gonna let mine soak for an hour. Sprinkle this with baking soda, drizzle on top some of our vinegar here. So that's what I'm going to do. Mine does have holes in it, so obviously it's going to drip. I'm gonna bring this over and do it over my sink. go ahead and let this soak for an hour so I'm going to set a timer come back in an hour and scratch this off with like an SOS pad a wire brush whatever you have if you're scrubbing this with a wire brush you're gonna scratch your pan if that's something you're concerned about I would use something else like an SOS pad or a Brillo pad or something like that I'm using a Brillo pad but I can actually already see that it's pulling things off of here so that's exciting I'm really hoping that this works this is just a one dollar pan from the Dollar Tree so if it can work on this I'm sure that this will work on pretty much everything if this works well here on this pan I'm actually gonna do the same thing to this really old pizza pan I would have to do this in my tub though because <laughs> this is not gonna fit flat in my sink so I would have to fill it with a lot of water and a lot of baking soda I don't really want to waste all that so if this works well I'm gonna try this on this like 10 year old pizza pan as well so I'm really excited to see if this is going to be worth it or not. This is the time for some good old-fashioned elbow grease. I took my Brillo pad here and just started scrubbing. Depending on how perfect you want your pan to look, how big the transformation you're looking for depends on just how many Brillo pads you're going to use, how much elbow grease this is going to take, and how much time this is going to take. My time is very valuable to me, so I just did what I call not perfect, but better. That's basically my personal life motto. Went ahead, scrubbed it, got pretty much whatever I could off with only doing this process once. If you wanted it to be perfect, you can go ahead and repeat this process a handful of times, do what you need to do to get it to your liking. However, my transformation isn't all that impressive, maybe not to some people, but to me, it was way good enough, especially considering this is just a pan that is going to be thrown back in my grill and continue to be beaten up for the next 10 years. I just wanted to refresh it, get a couple more years out of it. Hopefully, this is a $1 pan from the Dollar Tree, so it wasn't really a huge concern to me to get it perfect. I just wanted to get it better and I'm very happy with the result that I got but if you're looking for something bigger than what I got go ahead repeat this process do what you gotta do to get it to your liking but yeah this definitely took some time this is definitely took a good amount of elbow grease I scrubbed my pan for about 10 minutes and after that I, I was kind of over it I'm not gonna lie I just wanted to get it better so it was looking good enough to me I rinsed it off saw where I was and went yep I like that result. This is what the water looks like. This is everything that came off of that pan, which is super gross. This was after a little over an hour, like an hour and 15 minutes of soaking. I'm pretty happy with what came off the pan. This is what my pan looks like. Definitely way better than what it was. It's also doesn't look brand new, but way better. It's all smooth now. There's not any of those crusty, caked on things anymore. I'm really happy with this, especially considering it's just gonna be thrown in my grill and this is ready to go for the summer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.